What's up YouTube? Dave coming at you guys with a brand new video. Today I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, one, <laughs> I'm making a YouTube video for one. Um, but also, uh, today in this video what I kind of have planned is I'm going to go out, going to hit up a few thrift stores, I'm going to see what I can find because I'm going to try to build an outfit, you know, top, bottom, you know, etc. All that good-ish. And I'm going to try to keep it like 20 bucks around that time because so I think that's a good like kind of like not too much not too low to where it's like impossible see so yeah, I'm gonna go around hit a, hit up a few thrifts around here see what they got see what I can find and yeah I'm gonna take this journey or like take all this take all you guys on this journey I don't know. at this point who knows what I'm saying Alright, so I just got back in my car from the third, first thrift stop. Uh, I stopped at Savers. I was going to record a little bit before going inside, but there's just like so many people around my car. I didn't want them to think I was filming them. And I was trying to film what store I was going to. Um, I found about two tees and a flannel. Um, so I could just kind of need the pants next. Um, I have a few ideas in my head of what I'm going to cook up as a fit. And so, yeah, I mean, it's on to the next. All right, so I didn't, pro yeah, I didn't quite explain this part. Um, I probably won't be filming myself like thrift store just because as of right now, since it is the weekend, um, everybody's out thrifting right now. There's like a whole bunch of people. Also, I'm kind of awkward to where I probably wouldn't talk as much because I'm just self-conscious about that. But yeah, I probably won't be filming myself or filming stuff too much inside the thrift stores or anything. Just because I kind of want it to be kind of like a surprise at the end. Just be like, yo, y'all, this is what I got. Or, like, as a little recap, I might show you guys everything I picked up. And then might do, you know, a fit. We'll see what we'll see what I got planned. Who knows? I'm just kind of winging it right now. Alright, so we're finally to the next thrift store. Goodwill. Let's see. I just need some pants. And maybe some other things. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, so I'm at the next thrift store here. Um, so I went into Goodwill, kind of looked around, and I saw a few things I liked, uh, but I want to check out here first before I make any like final decisions on what I'm going to buy and everything like that. I saw a pair of Stan Smiths that were in my size at Goodwill, um, just the classic white ones. I might pick those up, but I'm also trying to challenge myself to make this all like under 20 bucks or something like that. And so if I get those, it'll be like over 20 bucks, but under 30 bucks. And just like a $30 thrift store outfit challenge. That doesn't have a nice ring to it as of like 20 bucks. I don't know. Let me think about it. But yeah, let me go in here and see what they got. And yeah, hopefully I'll be back with some pickups. Who knows? All right. So dipping out of this thrift store or that thrift store, I guess, since I'm already dipped out. Um, Yeah, I didn't really find anything up in there. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Um, I'm gonna go to one other one just to kind of see. Hopefully, they're still open. It's a little rinky dink, like church thrift store, like church ran thrift store. I mean, so is this one, but the, uh, the next one I'm going to is even smaller. And so, yeah, let me see if I'll find anything. I'm just kind of struggling, just kind of figuring out 100% what I want to do. Uh, just because I don't want like to do a base gas outfit, but I feel like that's all that it's going to be. And so, I don't know. I don't know. hope this is entertaining for people who are watching. I don't know. Also, another thing. I realize I'm probably saying, uh, and I don't know, like a whole lot. It's just because, you know, it's been a year since I've been in front of the camera. And so, still a little awkward. Actually, it's nice. I'm not talking to myself. Anyways, I don't even know if I'm going to include this part. Next stop, and hopefully last stop, I realize if I walk that way, there's going to be a bunch of bushes and whatnot. And so, yeah, hopefully we can see what we find. All right. 
Okay, so I'm outside their little yard area right now. Yo, honestly, not really finding anything. So this is going to be another loss for us. And yeah, so I think our best bet is to just go back to the Goodwill and cop a pair of pants I saw and maybe the Stan Smiths. Let me think about it some more, but yeah. All right, so yeah, like I said, as I was like in their little outside yard thing, so I didn't want to like be in the store and like, yo, I'm not finding shit. So I just went outside. Um, so yeah, I didn't really find anything. Again, nothing that really piqued my interest too much. Um, I even got desperate, looked at some of the women's pants, but nothing was there really. And so yeah, it's just, I think I'm just going to go to Goodwill, uh, buy what I was going to plan on buying, and yeah, I'll see you guys, I guess, back at my house? I don't know. Alright, so, I'm going to have to put this part sad, black and white, because I took a big L. <sighs> So, when I got back to the Goodwill, the Stan Smiths were gone. It was so heartbreaking, you know? So, what happened was, I got there, and I was looking at the shoe shelves, I was like, bro, they're gone. Like, no way. Like, me being gone. For maybe half an hour, they're gone already. And I look, and inside someone's cart, <laughs> it was the Stan Smiths. I was like... No, and it's a bummer because I didn't find anything from those other thrifts. Like, I didn't find anything. Like, my last stop could have been Goodwill and boom, done. But no, I just, I was foolish. So, lesson learned, if you see something in the thrifts and you're like, yo, these are dope, don't be like, no, I'll think about it. Just grab them. Unless you don't have money, then don't do that. But if you got the money, then do it. And see, I had the money. Well, of course I had the money. I wouldn't be going shopping if I didn't have money. Anyways, that's besides the point. Let's get into the pickups now. All right, so one thing I want to talk about before getting into the actual thrift pickups for the outfit is as I was out, I went to, I stopped at the mall next to near Savers and I copped um, a piece from the Uniqlo Engineered Garments collab. I copped like the white cream um, fleece, what's it called? Fleece long sleeve like pullover. They didn't have any of the zip ups, the one I really wanted because I guess they got too popular and they had to move them from a different store. Pretty sure that meant people were stealing them. Don't know, 100% sure, but yeah. Got this one, it's actually really dope, really cozy. Um, my girlfriend absolutely hates it, which that's how I know it's a banger. She hates it. All right, now getting into the actual thrift pickups. The first one, let me grab it real quick, is this white tee I found at Savers, because I found all the tees at Savers. And it says June 2nd, 12 to 5 p.m. Hay Street, 510 Summer Jam. Um, 5, 510 is an area code for, you know, calling people on the phone, it's like 510, you know, rest of the seven digits. Anyway, so yeah, this is actually a skate event, I believe, I assume, because it says Van, Spitfire, Crooked, Real, uh, Anti-Hero, Thrasher, all skate brands. Um, and it says there's other details between Telegraph and uh, Bow Ditch by People's Park, after party at Missouri Lounge, 7 p.m. till late. So honestly, this is really dope. I really like the graphic and everything like that. So the next tee I copped was this just black. It says Diana with the silhouette of, I assume, Diana. I'm not sure what Diana they're talking about. There's Diana Hamilton. There's Diana Ross. Not too sure because it's like you can kind of tell who it is, but can't really. I was trying to do some research, but I, I have no idea. This is kind of the alternate of like my outfit idea. Like the main pick is the white tee, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, I thought it was dope. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to pass it up. I should have said that about the Stan Smiths when I first saw them, but I didn't. So the last thing for the tops is going to be this blue express um, flannel here. I don't know if it's a woman's flannel or a men's flannel. Um, it's a medium. I don't know. It. 
Well, see with these buttons, these are the snap buttons. And so it's like, I know they usually say, like, if it's a men's button up, it'll be on the right. If it's a woman's, it'll be on the left. So I don't know if we consider these buttons on the left or the right. Don't know. I mean, it's dope. It fits me. And one reason why I liked it is because, I don't know if you can tell, there's these, like, bleach spots all over it. But they're not, like, heavy bleach spots. They're, like, low-key. And I don't know if it came that way or if the person who owned it before they donated it, like, did it like that. But I like it because it gives it a nice, like, vintage, worn feel or look to it. So for the pants, um... I, I, was, I was thinking maybe going light wash or something like that. I was trying to go for a certain wash, but I couldn't find anything that was, like, really good. Um, like, it's hard, since I'm, like, super skinny, to kind of find pants my size at the thrift. Because I'm, like, about a 28, 30 waist. And, eh, I mean, there's some... Sometimes I can fit in a 30, but most times I can't. I know it's, like, first world, first world problems that I'm, like, oh, too skinny. Or something like that. Trust me, I try to eat. Anyways, not going to get into it. Because I don't want people to get upset with me. But yeah, so I found a pair of just black 511 uh, Levi's. Um, usually 511 is slim. And it will usually say slim. But there's no indication like what kind of cut it is. Because it doesn't look too slim. It looks more like skinny. I guess we'll see once I have them on. But yeah, these are the pants I got for the fit. So, for the shoes, since I didn't pick up the Stan Smiths, I still wanted to rock, like, a white leather shoe. So, I'm either doing these, my cooked, um, Reebok, uh, Quirk Classics? Classic 85s? I forgot the name of the shoe. Either these ones, or my Air Force Ones. I'm just gonna have to see which ones look better. Um, and so, yeah. Also, I kind of like being kind of... Like, not really giving the full detail until, like, you kind of see the fit on and everything like that. And so, yeah. They see all these great things we're bringing back to them. So that's the fit, um, obviously, well, I mean, not obviously, I don't know how about you guys feel about it, but for me, yeah, this fit did not come out as good as I thought it would in my head, like in my head, picking out everything, I was like, all right, this is going to be good. Yeah, once I put it on and looked in the mirror, I was not happy about it. I was like, no, but I was like, yeah, you know what, let's do this thing. Let's film it. Let me talk about how I think it's kind of trash. But, I mean, yet again, you can't always expect to just randomly pick out things from the thrift store and just put together a bomb fit. Especially, like, if I didn't give myself a restriction of just 20 bucks, I think it could have been a lot better. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, especially around here, a lot of people already scoop up, like, all the super, super good stuff. Because thrifting is like super trendy around here. And so everybody's picking up the good stuff. But those are just my excuses for this outfit. That some of you guys may be like, alright. It's not that bad. But for me, I thought it was bad. I don't know. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll wear it. You know. Then I'll be like, you know what? It's not so bad. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I'll upload more videos. I won't upload one next year or something like that. I'll try to think of more ideas. Um, I want to shout out uh, Chris and Frank. Those are two people who hit me up on Instagram and asked me about where my videos were. Or, you know, why I haven't been uploading them. And honestly, I haven't felt very important in this big internet world. And so I was like, you know, what? no one cares if I stop making videos. And then two people hit me up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to upload videos, because why not? Like, it's... The, the only reason why I don't upload videos frequently is because I don't have any good ideas. And so, yeah. There's that. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Deuces. Bye. I don't know. At this point, who cares?